When it comes to working under the hood of a modern vehicle, bigger is definitely not better when it comes to impact tools. So the question is, will a modern impact wrench, one of these subcompact versions, actually outperform a monster of an impact wrench like this one? Today we'll be testing five different brands, the least expensive one under $100 and the most expensive one $300. So let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. In the first test, we'll see which impact wrench makes the most torque. Then we'll test them side by side to see which one removes lug nuts the fastest. Then we'll see which impact wrench can last the longest and drive the most lag bolts. At a price of only $96, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by AC Delco. All the wrenches we'll be testing are 3 8 inch impact wrenches. The AC Delco is 12 volts. Compact and ergonomic design at only 6 and a quarter inches long. Max torque 90 foot pounds. We're going to test that. The AC Delco is made in Taiwan. There's a manual for the impact wrench as well as for the charger. The AC Delco comes with two 2 amp hour batteries, a 1.5 amp battery charger. Wow, look at the size of this impact wrench. This thing is very compact. LED. Battery level indicator. Tool weight, only 1.98 pounds. The AC Delco weighs 2 pounds, 1.5 ounces, or 949 grams. No load speed, 0 to 2400 RPM. The lowest no load RPM was 137. The AC Delco did better than advertised at 2526 max RPM. At only $143, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by DeWalt. AC Delco uses a brush motor, but the DeWalt uses a brushless motor. 30% more torque, 17% shorter. Three year warranty. Max fastening torque, 125 foot pounds. Max breakaway torque, 200 foot pounds. The tool and accessories made in China. Charger made in China or Thailand. Batteries made in China, Japan, South Korea, or Malaysia. Very nice carrying bag. Battery charger, DCB112. The battery charger produces two amps. Two two amp hour batteries. Three LED lights on the front of the tool. Mode selector switch on top of the tool. In addition to normal impacting mode, the DeWalt features precision wrench mode, which grants the user greater control in both fastening and loosening applications. The DeWalt is slightly heavier than the AC Delco at two pounds, 3.5 ounces, or 1,006 grams. At 73 RPM, the DeWalt offers better low RPM control than the AC Delco. The DeWalt is rated for 1,000 RPM in low mode and was a little short of that rating at 959. It was only 10 RPM short of achieving its 2,850 RPM rating in high mode. At a price of $168, is this rigid 18 volt subcompact brushless 3 8 inch impact wrench kit? The packaging indicates a three year warranty as well as a lifetime warranty. Upon closer look, it looks like this wrench is covered for three years. The rigid is made in China. Very nice carrying bag. One two amp hour battery, battery charger, and the input is 60 watts. Just like the DeWalt, the Rigid uses a brushless motor. Mode selector switch on the back of the tool. Pretty bright LED light. The Rigid has four modes. Auto mode is indicated by A on the mode selector, 0 to 2800 RPM in auto mode. Low is indicated by 1, 0 to 850 RPM. Medium is indicated by 2, 0 to 2100 RPM. High is level 3, 0 to 2800 RPM. The auto mode offers protection from over tightening fasteners. While the tool doesn't have a battery level indicator, the battery does. The Rigid is the heaviest yet at 3 pounds, 0 0.5 ounces, or 1,375 grams. The Rigid's low RPM control isn't quite as good as DeWalt's at 110. It topped out at 890 RPM in low mode. In high mode, it wasn't quite as fast as DeWalt at 2,756 RPM. At a price of $190 is this Ingersoll Rand kit. 3 8 inch, 12 volt. Tool and battery made in Taiwan, charger made in China. Ingersoll Rand comes with a three year warranty. The kit comes with two 2 amp hour batteries. 2 amp battery charger. Just like the AC Delco, the Ingersoll Rand uses a brushed motor. There's only one forward and one reverse speed with the Ingersoll Rand. It does have an LED light, but it only comes on and stays on while the trigger is activated. The Ingersoll Rand is the second heaviest yet at 2 pounds, 5.3 ounces, or 1,057 grams. The Ingersoll Rand only has one speed range. Low RPM control wasn't as good as the other brands at 214. Its max RPM is 2,641. At $156 for just the tool or $299 for the kit is this Milwaukee brand. M12 fuel is driven to outperform. We're going to test that. Most compact. It claims to have up to 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. Four mode drive control. Fastening torque, 250 foot pounds. RPM in first gear, 1200. Second gear, 1800. Third gear, 2700. Auto shutoff mode, 15 to 2700. Just like the DeWalt and the Rigid, the Milwaukee uses a brushless motor. Battery level indicator, very bright LED light. Mode selector switch on top of the tool. Auto shutoff mode, speed one, two, and three. Milwaukee is the second heaviest yet at two pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces, or 1,125 grams.
Milwaukee offers the best low RPM control at only 31. Milwaukee claims their impact wrench makes 1,200 RPM in mode one and it came up short at 1,038. 2,368 RPM in mode three, which is 332 RPM short of the advertised 2,700 RPM in mode three. All of the impact wrenches beat the vintage impact, which topped out at 1,454 RPM. At 12.8 pounds, the vintage impact wrench weighs more than all the other battery-powered impact wrenches combined. One of the benefits of a compact tool is that they are typically much lighter than standard size tools. The AC Delco is the lightest at 33.5 ounces, DeWalt second at 35.5, Ingersoll Rand 37.3, Milwaukee 39.5, and Rigid 48.05 ounces. In the next test, we'll measure the noise level of each impact wrench running unloaded and in impact mode beginning with the AC Delco. 74 decibels at 24 inches. 100 decibels in impact mode. The DeWalt is slightly louder than AC Delco at 75 decibels. 100 decibels in impact mode the same as the AC Delco. Rigid is quite a bit louder at 82 decibels. It's also the loudest yet at 102 decibels in impact mode. 74 decibels for Ingersoll Rand. 99 decibels in impact mode the quietest yet. 79 decibels for Milwaukee, the second loudest. 99 decibels in impact mode. 88 decibels for the vintage impact wrench. 100 decibels in impact mode. If you're buying a compact impact wrench, the length of the tool is a huge factor, especially if working on modern cars or trucks. The AC Delco is not very compact at six and a quarter inches in length. The DeWalt is over an inch shorter than the AC Delco at 5.1 inches. The Rigid is almost an inch shorter than the DeWalt at 4.3 inches. The Ingersoll Rand is the second longest tool at almost six inches. The Milwaukee is the second shortest tool about a half an inch longer than the Rigid. So the Rigid is the shortest from front to back at 4.3 inches, Milwaukee 4.8, DeWalt 5.1, Ingersoll Rand 5.9, and the AC Delco 6.25 inches. This next test rig will help us figure out the max torque of each one of these impact wrenches. It's a real simple setup with two hydraulic rams sandwiched between two really thick pieces of steel. The hydraulic gauge will allow us to figure out the maximum clamp load. I'll be using a high quality synthetic grease just to make sure we get accurate and consistent test results. The test will last right at 15 seconds. The AC Delco really struggled only making 450 PSI in tightening mode. The DeWalt didn't waste any time getting to work, quickly building pressure and topping out at 900 PSI, which is twice as much as the AC Delco. The Rigid did even better than the DeWalt, making 1,500 PSI. Ingersoll Rand did better than the AC Delco at 675 PSI, but that wasn't nearly enough to move into the lead. Milwaukee did the best yet at 1,750 PSI, which is 250 PSI more than the Rigid. Definitely not a fair test, but let's see if the vintage three-quarter inch impact wrench can beat the battery-powered wrenches. And a vintage impact wrench blew right past 2,000 PSI and ended up making around 2,500 PSI. Not including the vintage impact wrench, the Milwaukee came out on top at 1,750 PSI, Rigid second at 1,500, DeWalt 900, Ingersoll Rand 675, and AC Delco 450. I just changed out the bolt with a left-hand threaded bolt, which will allow us to measure the maximum torque in reverse mode for each of the brands. All of the batteries are fully charged, testing the AC Delco first. The AC Delco really struggled only making 275 PSI. DeWalt made 900 PSI in forward and actually did slightly better in reverse at 1,000 PSI. The Rigid made 1,500 PSI in forward and did even better in reverse at 1,725. So Rigid is in the lead. Ingersoll Rand made 675 PSI in forward and was very close to the same at 650 PSI in reverse. Milwaukee delivered 1,750 PSI in forward and did the best of all the brands at 2,000 PSI in reverse. So once again, Milwaukee came out on top at 2,000 PSI, Rigid second at 1,725, DeWalt 1,000, Ingersoll Rand 650, and AC Delco 275. While some impact wrenches produce higher RPM, others hit harder. So let's place them side by side to see which impact wrench removes lug nuts the fastest. I'll first tighten all the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and measure the breakaway torque. 76.1 foot-pounds on the first nut. 78.4 foot-pounds on the second. So the breakaway torque is between 76 and 78 foot-pounds. AC Delco is on the left and DeWalt is on the right. And it wasn't even close with DeWalt completely removing the lug nut before the AC Delco loosened the nut. DeWalt is on the left and Rigid is on the right. And Rigid was a lot faster than the DeWalt, completely removing the lug nut before DeWalt was able to make any visible progress. Rigid is on the left and Ingersoll Rand is on the right. 
and the Ridget is quite a bit faster. Ridget is on the left and Milwaukee is on the right. Both were very fast, but it's Milwaukee for the win. Since it was close, let's compare them again. Very close, but two in a row for Milwaukee. And it's three in a row for Milwaukee. We still have a couple of wrenches to sort out, so let's compare DeWalt versus Ingersoll Rand. And it's DeWalt for the win. Ingersoll Rand is on the left and AC Delco is on the right. And it's Ingersoll Rand for the win. The next test is both an endurance test as well as a strength test to see how quickly each one of these impact wrenches can drive in five lag bolts. Four of the five are half inch by eight inches. The final one is 10 inches long. And the AC Delco completed one lag bolt, but the battery was nearly used up and overheated at just over five minutes. Okay, the AC Delco is very hot, about 210 degrees on the motor as well as the anvil. The DeWalt didn't quite finish the second lag bolt before giving up at four minutes and 25 seconds. The anvil on the DeWalt is about 220 and the electric motor is only about 190 degrees. The Ridget only needed about three and a half minutes to install five lag bolts and then remove two lag bolts before running out of juice. In fairness though, the two amp hour battery at 20 volts makes approximately 50% more watt hours than a 12 volt two amp hour battery. The anvil is about 165 degrees, the electric motor is about 180. Unfortunately, the Ingersoll Rand ran out of juice at about three and a half minutes and didn't quite finish the first lag bolt. The electric motor on the Ingersoll Rand is 220 degrees Fahrenheit and the anvil is 160. And the Milwaukee's battery ran out of juice at two minutes and 10 seconds. If you do buy the Milwaukee kit, it does come with one two amp hour battery and one four amp hour battery. A four amp hour battery would definitely help. The electric motor on the Milwaukee is about 160 and the anvil is about 110. In the next test, we're gonna see which of these compact impact wrenches can remove the lug nuts off this three quarter ton Dodge truck. All these lug nuts have been over torqued to 150 foot pounds. The battery is fully charged. Unfortunately, the AC Delco doesn't make enough torque to remove the lug nuts. The DeWalt needed about six seconds to remove the lug nut. The Rigid was twice as fast as the DeWalt at around three seconds. Unfortunately, the lug nut was just too much for the Ingersoll Rand. The Milwaukee is the fastest yet at just under two and a half seconds. We previously discharged one set of batteries installing the lag bolts. After the batteries cooled down, I completely discharged them running the tools without a load. So up next, let's see how long it takes to fully charge the batteries. And the Milwaukee is the first to finish at 39 minutes. The DeWalt needed 19 minutes longer at 58 minutes. The Ridge was a third to finish at just over 70 minutes and the Ingersoll Rand finished charging about 20 seconds later. The AC Delco finally finished at 84 minutes. So which impact wrench won this showdown? Definitely the Milwaukee, but the Milwaukee is the most expensive brand. On the other hand, the Ridget seems like a great value consider performance and price. Dwell definitely seems like a third place finish. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.